So I'm down here early in the morning getting all my rabbits refreshed with their hay and their water and their food and these are two of my beautiful mamas, the white ones. They are super duper fantastic. Fantastic uh, breed of rabbit. They just put out monster rabbits. And this one we've actually had for quite a long time too. She does a really good job too, but uh, I prefer the white rabbits. They seem to be the most tame, but uh, she, she does put out really tame ones. These brown ones, this is another mama here, and she uh, we mate her with the black male over here, and they seem like they're a little bit more on the wild side now. She's about ready to have babies. And if you look back in there, do you see how she's got the little pouch already made for where she's going to have? She's due any time. In fact, we might see her actually start uh, just stopping eating and stuff. We'll see how they do. They're really great animals to raise. These guys are really growing up here. These are super sweet bunnies. I want to show you something. Watch this bunny over here. We usually throw a block of wood in each one of these. Do you see how he's playing with his board? <laughs> it's, it's so funny. I don't know why they do this, but uh, we give them a block of wood, or sometimes we give them a board like that to be able to rest on so they're not sitting on the cage. A lot of times they just like to sit on the, the timothy grass that we give them, but... Uh, Every once in a while you catch them taking these little blocks that we have in here, running around with them and kicking them around and stuff. They they really enjoy that. It gives them something to chew on to if they want. But uh, these are super sweet little rabbits. A lot of times they come up to me because I've been petting my dogs and they want to smell the, my hands because they... Although the one dog I got, he would eat these rabbits. Woo, boy. Look at them all coming over. Got to take time and love the rabbits. I've been so busy lately. I haven't been doing this. There's one thing after another you got to do around here. Now, I want you to know, I get this uh, <clears throat> Timothy Grass grab-and-go bags from Stan Lee. Stan Lee? at uh, tractor supply and when you go to the website they don't recommend this for rabbits but i've been using this for probably over a year now and i am going to tell you my rabbits thrive on this stuff and it's about twenty dollars for a bale and it comes in a green bag which is uh, sealed and so i can stack them up side the side of the house until i need them so i try to keep three or four bags spare up there it's funny they do this orbiting when they're happy he said he brought us some food. We can live another eight hours. Just like my doggies do. <laughs> Going crazy. I got work to do. I don't have time to sit here and watch you guys all day. Let's get to the rest of them. Now these are a few of my uh, older rabbits that I've got. These guys here probably have about 30 days left. And then they get to graduate to my freezer. I got to start eating some more rabbit. Look at this guy climbing right on top. He says, I want the top ones. <clears throat> Four. So there's nine of them in this pen. Eight of them over here. That's 17, plus I have another six over there, so that's 23. I go to about half production rate in the summer. But I'll tell you, since I put the fan in here, everybody's been doing just fine. It's not nearly as stressful. 
Now I will let you know that I'm going to start going to full production about the middle of August. I'll start mating all of my rabbits because by the middle of September they'll start having babies and uh, then it's three months until you know they got to be processed after that so it's a four month deal you have to kind of back up and then you got to make sure you have the capacity for it and I usually don't mate them all at one time too I'll spread them out a couple weeks each you know do like three and then two weeks later do like three more I have seven females total That's my uh, young rooster who knows how to crow now. Good golly, Miss Molly. If I get up in the middle of the night because I'm having trouble sleep, if I turn on a light up there like 3 o'clock in the morning, he'll start crowing so we can't turn on any lights because he thinks the sun's coming up. Took me a while to figure out why the heck he was doing that. It's like roosters, they uh, crow when the sun comes up, so artificial light screws them up. So I noticed he's been... Um, trying to mate the hens in here. I think these guys or gals are ready to be released now into the bigger group and they're just gonna have to figure out the pecking order. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. The one chicken that got beat up by the dog really good, looks like it's recovered very well. So I'm hoping it'll uh, get back into the flock and uh, start participating again. Tell you what, so you gotta work all this stuff. We've been having a few problems with a couple of the older rabbits having some kind of mites in their ears but I've got this treatment we use and it seems to clear it right up but you've got to keep an eye on them I'm going to show you some babies here in a minute so I've got uh, a mama with five babies in here and they are about to graduate here's one way over here in the corner we actually had one of the eyeballs on one of these was kind of uh, stuck shut so we had to come out here with a cotton ball and some uh, water and try to loosen it up I can't remember which one it is. It might be that one in the back corner. I wanted to kind of check on to see how it's doing. But these guys are super jumpy. So I have to get a big tote, put them in, because usually I just pick up the nesting box and tilt it way back, and they stay in there. But these can jump. So anyways, they're doing really good. Uh, hey, Mama. This is a good, really good Mama. Little babies. Doing super good. See, they're out here eating hay and everything now. They're just not used to humans so much. And this is one of my uh, big white mamas, too. Like I said, I'm going to start slowly rotating the females in because uh, it'll be uh, one month of gestation period. And then they usually stay in here another month after they're born. So that means I got two months, and then they start moving out to the uh, the grow out state cages. <clears throat> so it's, it's probably time to get a couple more of these going. But uh, good go good golly, I had like sixty babies at one time. That was a lot last year. Let me show you my doggies. My doggies are just <clears throat> these have been the best dogs in the world. This one still has tremendous separation anxiety. That's lucky. And uh, Dougie has outgrown his separation anxiety. It took, a, took pretty much a year, but again, both of these were rescues. He's in this eating grass stage. I don't know what the deal is with that. Hey, I'm trying to do a video here. Shh. Hey, don't let anybody tell you the roosters make all the noise. The dang hens, they make a heck of a lot more noise than the uh, roosters do, and they do it all day long. And a lot of times what she's doing right there is she's saying, somebody's on in the nesting box, and I need to use it. Will you get her out? But I have five nesting boxes in there, and they like to only use two of the five. Don't tell me why. I can't tell you why. The rest of the chickens are all out there having a great time digging around in the yard. I gotta turn off the water. So this is my mutual of Omaha Animal Kingdom area down here. I like it, it's a nice compact thing and it works fantastic. We had a storm the other day, blew one of my panels out and it destroyed that panel. 
so I actually have to and it's in the most difficult spot to get to so this is going to be quite fun to try to replace but I'm going to go ahead and I found a kit that I can buy for these uh, Harbor Freight panels and uh, I think they're more durable so I've got to get uh, I got to pick up a set and go ahead and get it I've got an ultimate idea here where I'm going to put a heavy duty tarp over the top of that anyways I'm going to try to add a little more insulation it's a clear tarp and I think that'll work better yeah yeah we hear you anyways this is the uh, Dobson 77A homestead hope everybody's treating you well I hope you're doing well do the best you can God bless